I think the title of this is going to be something like the system and how we're being played or how to play it, something like that. I often write the titles and things after the, the video. I want to talk to you about, and this is only my opinion, about how I see the system. After a year of doing these videos and listening to loads of different people about what's lawful and what's legal, excuse me, um, I, want to, I want to be able to present to you very succinctly, if I can, how I think we should be engaging with the system and how we get out of the system so that we can live in the private. It's a very complex conversation to have um, to understand. So I'm just going to go through some very simple um, ideas that I've got. Now, there may be people out there who will think, actually, Richard, you've got this wrong, or I do it this way, and I do it that way, and that's absolutely fine. And there may be, of course, people who are coming to this for the very first time and not quite fully understanding it. So I may go through a few things rather rapidly. Some bits you may not understand. Some bits you may all, you know, be very, very... Um, uh, au fait with and understand it completely. But I don't want this to be a long meandering video if I can help it. I've already done one version and it was it was rubbish and sometimes I have to do these videos several times to get it right. So I'm hoping I get it. So wish me luck. Um, so I just briefly go back to when we were born. When we were born we all know that a birth certificate was created and on the birth certificate is a name and the name consists of the name that our mother and father usually uh, name us, a given name, and then it's a surname, which is generally the family name, and they're linked together. So let's say in my case, for example, Richard Vobes becomes my name. So, okay, so that's, that's a name. Now, you may have noticed, and of course many people will know this, that correspondence from the system, from the government, from the health service, from the council, comes in your name to you in capital letters. Now, we all understand, or at least maybe most of us understand, that that name is actually not you because you are a, what, a spirit inside a, a physical body. You're a, a living man and woman. You have blood uh, coursing through your veins and you can breathe and your, your body gets old and is falling apart at the end of life. Um, <clears throat> that's, that is who you actually are, but you're not this arbitrary name that's been created on a piece of paper called certificate of birth. That's not you, but the correspondence comes into you. Now, I did a video before that said the, the Vatican wanted a flat earth and wanted to be able to interact with everybody in this flat earth. The flat earth, this particular flat earth I'm talking about, is a, is a earth of paper. It's a paper, it's paperwork. And so this name, this legal entity in capital letters is is how the system, corporations, the council, the government, the health service, they're all corporations, they're there for business, and I've spoken about this many times, uh, this is how they talk to you. They assume uh, that you, and the only way they can talk to you, by the way, is by assuming that you uh, accept that you are this legal entity, this name in capital letters. It, on your passport, it's in capital letters. On your driving license, it's in capital letters. On your tombstone, it's in capital letters. But it's not actually you. You're a completely separate thing from a piece of paper with words on it. When people say, can you provide me with some ID, and you whip out something with a photograph and this name in capital letters, that doesn't actually identify you at all. All it does is it identifies this name in capital letters because this is your identity. You're a real living man or living woman. You're not a piece of paper with a photo attached and a name in capital letters. But this is how the only way the legal system can engage with you. So when you get a parking ticket, when you get a, a summons, say, for non-payment of council tax, you'll get paperwork. And the paperwork comes with this name on it in capital letters. Now, there are different ways to play 
against this. And I want to talk about a different way. In the past, people have said, oh, I'm a living man or a living woman. This is a, a legal fiction. It's not me. I don't know who you are. They may end up in court and the court will say, for the record, state your name. And you may say it's Richard Vobes or whatever your name is, or they may say, what is your name? And then you give them the name. And at that moment, you have given them jurisdiction. You have stepped into the role of this legal fiction. You have now become it. As Shakespeare said, the world is a stage and um, <clears throat> it, it, whatever, it, the world is a stage and we and all of us are actors, men and, well, I can't remember the phrase now, it's typical is turn the camera on and you can't bloody remember it. But anyway, you know what I mean. All the world is a stage and the men and women are merely actors. And this is the thing. We are acting as if we are this legal fiction. We're not. We're not actors. We can, we can pick it up and we can act as that role. And um, that's, that's the second way, the second method, I think, of dealing with them. Because they can't deal with real men and women. This is something that you, I feel that we've all got to get into our heads. Because when you go there and you be, you're emotional, um, say in court and you break down, they don't care about that. They're, they're, they're emotional beings. They are operating in a paper world, in a business world with dead entities. They're just concerned about this name that has to pay this bill. Uh, what, the fact that you're crying and blubbering and your blood is pulse that's got nothing to do with them. They don't give a monkeys about that. It's not, it's not part of it. You've just agreed to be the actor of this situation. So before we get to that point, before we get to that point, I think there's another way of dealing with this. Um, you don't have to keep pushing back on this jurisdiction thing. So just bear with me. So um, let's say you've, you've got a letter and it comes in and there it is and you need to deal with whatever this letter is and your name's in capitalization. Say you haven't paid the council tax and you've got a summons or, or a, uh, they're asking you to pay. Now, you've got the choice. You can pay. Or if you think, as many people do, for example, that the council tax is unfair or is fraudulent or is being done by the council in um, a, a, a fraudulent way and not a, um, an honourable way, you might have questions. And so a way to deal with this and to ask for evidence that you owe the money or evidence that it is not done fraudulently, or evidence that the money is going to the council and not, say, to the main government, or evidence that it is not actually being used, say, for terrorism or funding wars or things like that. All laudable questions, of course. Instead of writing from you, hello, I'm Richard and I'm asking you this question, blah, 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 as a living man, don't. Write to them in the same way that they write to you. If you notice, all the paperwork comes to you from an office of some description, whether it's the council tax office, whether it's the government office, whether it's an office in the, in the National Health Service, whatever it is, it's come from an office. And very often, if you notice, they don't even bother these days to put even signatures on the bottom of the uh, letter that you get. It just says something like, from clerk, you know, yours sincerely, clerk of the court, or yours sincerely, executive officer for housing, or it might come from, you know, doctor of, or executive office of national, of medical services, something like that. And no, nothing else. It doesn't seem to come from an actual living man or woman. So I think the way that we play the system is we play it back at them. So in other words, you get something from them and you reply, not as an individual, but as the legal fiction, but not as, but from the office of the legal fiction. You treat that legal fiction as if it's its own business, its own company. When my dad died and I had power of attorney, I had to write out some uh, bills and, and ask questions on certain things. And of course, I had to write not from him because he was dead, but not from me, but as the executor of his estate. And this is what we should be doing when we communicate with these 
corporations. They are dead entities in and of themselves. They are just ideas, themes on paper, as is the legal fiction. So we enter their game. So we would say, for example, I might now write a letter to the council asking whether the council tax was um, legitimate and where the proof was that I ought to be paying it. <clears throat> so I would write from the office of Richard Vobes, put my address, dear sir, uh, thank you for your, may it, it might be a summons or it might be a bill or invoice or whatever it is. Thank you very much for this invoice, which I've noticed has arrived today. Um, the office of Richard Vobes is, is curious to know where the liability is to pay this. Whilst ri the office of Richard Vobes is happy to pay the bill, um, I'm withholding the money until I see proof that I uh, that Richard Vobes owes the money. Thank you very much, executor of the estate of Richard Vobes. And that's how I would finish it off. I wouldn't put a signature, I wouldn't put anything. I'm playing the game as they play it. I am taking myself as a living man and li or a living woman, I'm a living man of course, out of the equation to make it very easy. And I put, every time I refer to Richard Vobes, it's in capitalization, just as they do. I believe that this is a system of being able to talk to them effectively and efficiently. So you could, if you're wanting to rebut a summons or to um, say rebut the 12 presumptions and all of those things that you want to put into it, but, uh, but you're questioning, do it how they do it to you. Because A, I think it's going to be more efficient, um, but B, you're basically showing them you know their game. You're not this individual, this person who's going to end up in court blubbering and, and things, and, but they don't need to know any of that. You're going into the public, into their system, playing their game, and then you're coming out completely. It's just my opinion. I don't know if it helps, but I want to explore how this then works for, let's say, driving um, and other things. But we'll do all of that in another video.